So I'm here sitting with Troy on the back porch and he is Carmelo Anthony's number one fan. That's right. I'm a man. <laughs> so you, you love the NBA? Mm -hmm. What what is it about the NBA that you love the most? Seeing Carmel Anthony with his hot as a firecracker. Sweet. It's just sweet. I love to watch that man do his thing. When he's on, he's the baddest brother in the world. He's the baddest brother out there. Everything is just smooth as silk. I mean, you know, it's just smooth. <laughs> Kills him. I mean, he's he just like you want to say, get a hammer or something, hit that dude in the head or something. Do something to him. That uh, jump shot is just sweet as cotton candy. Choo, choo. The net hardly moves. Uh, he, he's a bad man. He does it. He does it all. So, what, what, how do you feel about the Knicks? The Knicks, in a, probably in a, in, in a couple of years, they'll be all right too. I, I feel that they're working on pieces. They get the right pieces. You, you got to get a couple more pieces around the sweet man. You got to do this. Spend some money. Who gives a shit? Spend some dough. And get that boy some help. Didn't have no help. He's got some help now. Where? With the next? Yeah. Yeah, he do, but that's going to, again, there's it, a few pieces missing right now. With them. They have Landry Fields, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> your, who's your team that you think will... Uh make it all the way this year. Oh, there's no doubt that the Lakers will win all the whole thing. You know, they got a lot of strong people inside, you know. Andrew Bynum, Lamar Odom. That make you happy? No, it don't. <laughs> Definitely don't. What, what do you have to say to the Black Mamba? <laughs> what do I have to say? He's been a very lucky man. He's been a lucky man. Listen, he rode Shaquille on every year. Now he's riding Casal and Bynum and Odom. He, he, he should go to bed at night and say, thank you, Jesus, that these guys are alive. I mean, really. And there's only, it's, only one, it's only one Michael Jordan. I still contend that Kobe is the best player in the NBA. I don't agree with it. Well, give me a critique of Kobe's game. What about his game makes you think he's not the best? Well, what gets me actually with him? He just wants to be like that. I got to. I feel if he ever get this sixth ring, the fifth ring, but is this the fifth year if he get six? Well, his head will really swell up then. I'm right there with the with the man. I'm right here with him. I, like he was telling, uh, he was waving the shot. You know, I got five now. <laughs> Boy, if he gets number six, he might go out of this. He might go out of his mind. Might just flip out that day. And then get and get back to your black mammoth, see? They went out and got Casal. Before him, they had the best in the business, the Big Shack. The, the best in the business. So he's always been around the best in the business. And, then, and you get Casal. Now you got Bynum. Now you got Odom. If you put LeBron James in his spot, they'd win the next 90 years. <laughs> Come on, man. About Denver. Uh, Denver. <laughs> Denver right now looks like they can beat anybody. They could just learn how to play just an ounce of defense and stop turning the ball over so much. Can you imagine if they didn't turn the ball over as much as they did? They could beat anybody in the league at any time. Yo, Kobe Bryant, too. It seems as though that they're better without the sweet man. What do you I say don't, that? I don't, I don't know if they're better because. It, 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 the sweet man carried him so many years and he never got no help. You know, and, 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 and after a while, it gets tiresome. You know, it, it drains you because you bring your best every night, but you don't have nobody that can help you get to that extra. And it, it, it wears a tear on you. It, it, it beats you down. It beats you like you stole something. If Denver could just change a little page, if they, if they, could, if they could just watch turnovers, right? And they, they must average 13, 14, 50 damn turnovers a, a game. If they could cut that down to about seven or eight, 
I think everybody in the world would get the biggest surprise of their life. So you really, really, you really like Denver? I, I've always liked them because my man played out there. Allen Iverson. The, one of the greatest that ever lived. One of the greatest little man that ever lived. Seen him many times. One of the greatest. And it's a shame that he's not in the NBA today. When he's on the floor, he gives you 100%. I've seen a little man that's knocked down to the floor. He hopped right back up. Sprained ankles. He just, he gave you your money's worth and two other people too. The man is a legend. And he don't go out like a legend. It's ridiculous. And he was close. Well, again, they never gave him no help either. He never got nobody. That was another perfect example. They never got no help for him. One man can't win it all. I, I feel like the best player in the league is still uh, the Black Mamba. I don't. But, but who do you feel is the best player? LeBron James. Without a doubt. Why? Because he does everything. It ain't, it ain't nothing he can't do. What do you feel about people that say that LeBron was doesn't want to be the man and he went to Miami so the heat wouldn't be on him? Well, I, I, I kind of feel like with LeBron right now, I think he's... I think he's kind of concentrating on that he wants to uh, fit in real nice. I don't think that's going to work out in the long run. He, he just, he just going to have to realize that he's the best wherever he goes. And, it, and when he gets an opportunity, he's going to have to do just like he did in Cleveland, destroy it down and forget about it. We didn't even talk about Blake Griffin. Blake uh, Griffin. Huh. I mean, it, the kid is, you know, he's outrageous. What good is all that if you're there by yourself? You know, you're just shy, but you, the, the ultimate goal is that ring. The W is what counts. And that's the way your boys are. Your boys. They don't care as long as the W go to the board. Well, my, my, boy, I, my boys are the Knicks, but uh, I your love... Boys are the, their boys I, are the Lakers. I like the Black Mamba because I think yeah, he's the best see, player they in the game. They, they don't really care. All they care about is the W. Big ticket. Oh, that's my main man. That's another one of my main men. Hard worker, does his thing, like it or don't like it. He hasn't changed an ounce since he's been in the NBA. And that's the way it should be. You can't you can't say nothing bad about this guy. He's gonna do his thing if his foot is half off, half on, he, he he's there. You understand? He don't he don't change nothing. It's a and, big and, ticket. And, and that's just the way it is with the big ticket. Ray Ray. Ray Allen, sweetest. <laughs> he's, he's, he's in the category of Mellow, but I still put Mellow above him. I mean, he's sweet when he's on, too. Sweet. Lord knows that boy's sweet. Smooth jump shot. Ooh, like silk, boy. Were you a, so you were at that game, the, the double nickel when yes, Jordan came back? Yes, I was. Tell yeah. me a little bit about that game. It was me and some kid, I remember. One of the screaming in the garden that night. <laughs> he slapped it on with them double nickels. Never seen nobody play it like he did. Except my man Mello. <laughs> you you my love Mello. My man Mello's up. I'm telling you, this boy, when he's on his game, he's the sweetest big six foot nine I ever seen in my entire life. That jump shot is so sweet. <laughs> it's a shame. <laughs> it's a disgrace. What is his weakness? I don't think he's really got no weakness. Defense? He's on sale when he goes under the basket. He's West on sale when he goes under that basket. He's West on sale at Moses Malone. What can you say about the boy? No that's defense. That's why I was, that's no defense. You he doesn't play defense. Me. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> he doesn't you play. can't be for real. He doesn't play any defense. Come on, man. You just take that ball from you so fast to make it his win. People just don't see this. <laughs> he does stay so. He does that way when he's under basket. You, you, I've seen this boy fight with Andrew Bynum and all of them. It's all and all. He's got that ball. He's gonna come out with that ball. Well, the, you know, I, listen. I like I like Melo a lot. I mean, people don't see that. This boy will come away from there somehow or another with that ball, like Moses Malone used to be. Moses Malone. He, if that ball is up there or down there, Moses is gonna get it. Melo is a winner, boy. Without a doubt. One with Syracuse. And I'm and I'm hoping that they, they get them. I'm hoping that they do like the Lakers did. Get that spot for him. And he's out there somewhere. 
but they got to get that spot. So is that spot a point guard? Is that spot? I, a... I, I don't know. No, it's 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 a, it's a guy. That, it's a blue collar worker. It's a hard blue collar worker. Somebody like he an Oak, care, Oakley. He, yeah, yeah. Charles Oakley. Somebody like Charles Oakley, but can shoot a little bit of Charles Oakley. You know what I mean? Somebody can give you 17, 18 every night. Mellow man. Can you picture the mellow man getting that kind of help on? Every night, shooting that sweet jump shot. Ooh, Lord, how much is that? I'll have to go back like watching the Knicks. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, I thank you, my friend. Anytime. <laughs>